Welcome everyone, it's me again, Matt. I hope you're having a good day. I'm actually on screen today so you actually can see me. Um, a number of you have been telling me to play this. I mean, constantly have been getting a lot of people telling me, Hey Matt, you've got to play this game, you got to play this game. So we're going to give it a go. It's called Sprocket. You know, games in the word. It's about tanks, okay? Uh, but specifically, this one's really cool because you get those sort of design games that are for... All sorts of other random things like cars and planes or whatever. But this one's specifically about tanks. Um, and actually designing them from scratch. Like creating your own... Uh, I guess what, what's the word I'm looking for? Obviously design, but your own uh, schematic of the weapon. So it could be fun. This could be fun. So we're going to apply Sandbox. I'm just going to get straight into it here. Um, so I've looked at a few videos online already. And uh, it sounds like it's got quite a lot to it so there's a lot to do here which is awesome um hey zero nice to see you dude hey springtime um so yeah you get to design this from scratch which is really cool uh so the essentials are located on here we need a manlet we need a driver's port we need a kind of site we can go from whatever we want here just the world's our oyster now it's i think it's based more around a world war ii style i mean you can see the uh you know even the mantlets are all World War II style weapons, but that's fine. Hopefully there'll be modifications of this in the future so it's more modernized, which I'm going to actually try and reach out to the developers and see if it's something that they're actually wanting to do. But let's design a tank, guys. There's not really much else uh, to it. We're going to design this thing. So I'm going to start off with a light vehicle, a light armored vehicle at first, so a light tank. Uh, so let's start with the base. Um, in fact, I always start with the tracks. Let's start for the tracks down. Let's go tracks here. So, different sprocket wheels, sprocket mounts, sprocket wheel. So, yeah, more heavy duty. So, this is called the labyrinth, just so you know, guys. This is the labyrinth of the sprocket, this portion here. So, it's the strongest part. So, this is a weaker labyrinth, in, in essence, or it could be. I like this one's got little spikes on it, though. It's pretty cool. Um, you sound like Jack Frags. I don't know if I sound like Jack Frags. Anyway, uh, so let's have a look at road wheel sprocket mount. So the sunlight's a little rough there. Idler wheels. Some funky different idler wheels here. That's like a T-34 style looking idler like that. Idler mount. Okay, whatever. Road wheels. Let's see what we've got for road wheels here. Definitely a T-34 style looking here. Very nice. Uh, I kind of like these one though. Almost like uh, Challenger 2 like similar to. Uh, suspension. What we got for suspension here? See what we got under here. So suspension. Okay. Track width. Oh, so we can adjust the track. So let's go track width. We're gonna make it a little narrow. So we're gonna make this sort of a light light reconnaissance sort of vehicle at the moment. So let's go back to my base. It's way too wide. We don't need it this big. So let's go uh, width. There we go. Okay, so it's fairly small. Uh, yeah, we want to cover those tracks up. They're a little, uh, they're a little exposed, to say the least. Okay, sponsons, slant. No, we don't want that. Front glacius. Oh yeah, we get a little bit of angle on there. A little bit more angle. Okay. Kind of like that. I'm gonna get slant. We've got to get the engine in there, right? So we've got to be cautious about what we're doing to this thing, uh, because if we uh, if we overdo it for reducing things, we've got to fit stuff on it, yet, right? So let's go. Hmm. Hey! <laughs> oh, look at that chonker boy! Look at that thing. That is amazing. So we're gonna give it a little bit of height there. Okay, I'm happy with that. It's got some deflective angles there. Uh, height. Yeah, we've already done that. That's good. Uh, sponsons. Let's come out a little bit here. Front strip. Did it give me a front strip there? Yeah, it did. I like that one. Let's go with that. Bottom strip. There, that's pretty good. That's a nasty front there, though. That front's got to get fixed. Look at that 
a round going into that, it's going to take it right to the front. So we need to get rid of that. So let's, uh, a little bit better. It's a little bit more chiseled to the front. Okay. Um, let's see what the lower portion does. Lower. Whoa. <laughs> Pim. <laughs> Oh my god, I can have some serious fun with this right now. It's like pimp my ride, but for tanks. I absolutely love it. So that's not going to work. That's too... Is that going to work? It's fouling, isn't it? Yeah, it's fouling. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. Uh, okay. Oh, what's going on here? I can't tell when I'm adjusting. Oh, there we go. Getting sort of a mind blast shape looks. We don't want that. We want it nice and wide still. Rear Iglesias. Rear Enrique Iglesias. Okay. Why tanks don't get replaced often? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so it does still have a little nasty front portion there that I'm not too happy about. So I'd like to try and fix that a little bit more. Still, still nasty. Whoa. <laughs> okay, it's still quite high. But the whole... Yeah, I'd, I'd like to get a little bit more angle on the sides too. So we've got... It weighs 17 tons so far. Coffee bar and a beer bar. Farthest away from the driver, of course. Let's get a gun on it. Why not? Let's get some firepower on it. We're going to go for uh, medium mantles. Heavy mantles. Light mantles. Let's go for a light mantle. It's a little too light for me. There. Okay. Oh god, this wreck could get interesting. Okay, so... Okay, armor. Okay. So let's do... Show. Oh, there we are. Oh, I see. Hey, Intens. Nice to see you, dude. Uh, okay, cannon. Oh, God. This could get really intensive. Oh, God. It's like the Pinocchio tank here. Ooh. Look at that. Thick. Can I make a thick? Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> this is going to be ridiculous. Let's bring the length down. Okay, I definitely don't want 75 millimeter. <laughs> let's bring it down to. Uh, let's give it a 75. I'm happy with that. Shell length, muzzle velocity, burn off. I don't want a muzzle break on it. Like Freaking ugly. I hate the ugly mount on it. How do I get that end thickness? No. Caliber. Oh, there's muzzles. Yeah, it's going to go kind of like that. Or should we just go straight? It looks, uh, it's kind of funky looking. It's a really weird looking vehicle right now. Okay, um. Let's go for gunner sights. I'll put the gun sight, obviously. I'm going to put my gun sight. Gun sight. It's going to go right here. That's a break gun sights. Okay, so that's a beefy gun for a small vehicle like that. Just poke the enemy through the viewport. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, um, I'm still not happy with that front. I got I got to fix it. I got to fix this front. It's just not working for me. Flattened front glasses. Uh, longer now. It's way too long. Seems about right. Height. <laughs> okay, front glasses. Uh, slanty boy. Fronty boy. Slanty boy. 
that front is still it's trying to get the front strip to yeah it really doesn't like that it's better but not much better uh, it does let you uh, it does let you drive it yeah it does okay turret we're gonna play with our turret a little bit too we're gonna extend the back end I think she's got she's got chunky turret holy that's too beefy too beefy okay Gonna bring her length down just a touch more. I don't know if I actually changed it. I'm quite happy with the turret actually. Uh, let's go back to the turret again. Ring needs to be nice and low. Not too low. Front angle. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> That's not too bad. Length, yeah, we could do a little bit more length on it. Yeah, I kind of like that. <laughs> what has happened to the mantle? <laughs> okay, we need to change the the mantle housing needs to change. Let's go to the gun mount. Can I move you over a little bit more? <laughs> okay, let's go back to turret. Uh, gun mount base turret. Yeah, we can't do that. Uh, width, whoa cheek oh okay we have centralized the cheek height's good doesn't like that at all does it <laughs> wow i mean sure i guess <laughs> you imagine trying to load this thing <laughs> oh my god hey guys welcome to the stream uh we gotta fix this turret though that's that's very very wrong Whoa, we got a little bit of offset here, okay. Uh... <laughs> I'm way too much fun with this. Um, whoa, look at that. Beautiful. I think our front angle is way too much. We've screwed something up here, guys. Argentine Tam, it does kind of look like the Tam, doesn't it? I have to admit that. It does look like the Tam a little. Okay. <laughs> look at the overhang. Okay. Um, we got to change that front. This is too much. This, this has got to change. I just can't remember how to do it. Okay. That, that's better. It's not much better, but it's better. Okay, I'm going to have to move my gun over now to do that. Firepower. Mantle needs to move. Like there. That's fair. That's fair. I like that. Okay, what have we got here? What's, what the hell is that? What is that? Is that a mantle? Damn, that was ugly. Okay, uh, 20 millimeter base. Sure, I'm not too sure what that's doing. Uh, my gun's good, I think. Gun of sight can move. We put the gun of sight. Should have really offset that a little bit, shouldn't I? That'll work. <laughs> right above the loading the arc of the gun. Now we have to offset that. The gun on the right hand side there. Okay, kind of liking the angles a little bit. I'd like to change. I could do this all day, guys. I literally am, like could perfect this all day long, but lots of slanting there. But there's still this dead, ugly front that I've got to try and get rid of. So yeah. Okay. Um, let's go back to the turret. Armor. Oh, we have to add armor? Wait a minute. Oh yeah, we're sticking armor on the sides of it now. Okay, so front armor. 
cheek on her. Roof on her. She's hefty. That's a lot of weight. Okay, she can take a good beating from the front. From the sides. 64 millimeters. Oh yeah, she's hefty. Okay, cheeks. Let's get the cheeks rated up a little bit more. And she's not an MBT, so we don't need to, we don't need to worry too much about her taking direct hits. Let's do a little bit on the cheeks. A little bit on the roof. And a little bit on the rear. Okay. So she's been, she's been armored up a little bit. Make smallest MVT. It's possible to lower the captured video streamer blade is cutting off the top. Uh, yeah, but then you're going to lose all the... Hold on, give me a sec here. I'll fix it for you. I think I know why it's doing that. Um, let's just do... That should help, hopefully. There, that should help a little bit. Uh, okay, let's get back into it. So we've made, so with the turrets good, we've got a gun on there, the 75 millimeter gun, uh, shell length. Yeah, I don't think we want to get too much more than that. Crew, let's see what crew we've got. Commander allocated space, holy cow, this is intense, guys. Okay, so we need a commander's cupola. <laughs> We're not going to have enough room for our crew members here, boys. Uh, we're going to have to make this turret a little wider, I think. Base. So let's get the hull. The turret is diameter. Uh, what have I done? I've done something wrong here. There we go. Let's get you just a little wider there. Okay. Cool. I'm happy with that. Uh, okay, let's get the crew again. We're going to put our commander's cupola. On this side, no. On this side, just there. And I'm not sure what that one is, but we're gonna stick that in there too. Me for the driver. Viewports. Uh, driver's viewport is gonna go just here, and then secondary viewport can be if he wishes. Towards the rear of the vehicle. Antennas. Yeah, let's get some antennas. Get some radio communications going on this thing. There we go. Stowages. Yeah, we'll put a couple of bin cages. Oh, this is cool, guys. This is really cool. This is wicked that you can, like... Oh, that's so cool. Put some gun cage on the back of there. Get the supplies in there. This is starting to look really cool. Oh, here's the machine gun. Yeah, we should put a machine gun on it. Crew hatches. I think that's for the driver. Ooh, we didn't think about that, did we? We did not think about that at all. Well, let's put lights on. They're a lot more important right now. i uh, got to get a crew hatch on there. Uh, crew hatches. Oh, they're just side crew hatches. I don't need to worry about that. I don't know if I really want a crew hatch on it. Lights. Uh, put a little headlight on there. A headlight on there. Utilities. Oh my goodness, we can really go go all out here. Machine guns. Wicked. We're not going to put a ball turret on this thing. And now I know this is World War Two. <laughs> I mounted 50 cal on the side of it. We are going to put a 50 on it though. We've got to get the 50 cal on there, guys. Come on. Uh, I'm going to put the 50 cal just here. Cool. What else we got going on? Uh, it needs some utilities. Tome pintles, of course. One. Two. I'm also going to put a couple here in case we need to airlift this sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Not that it's ever actually going to be airlifted, but you never know. And to be fair, you would never airlift something on trunnions like that. 
Uh, what else we got going on here? I believe that's a balancer. At the back. A log. <laughs> ancillaries. Yeah, we'll put the ancillaries on the back. Actually. Uh, ancillaries can go on the side bustle. Maybe on the back? No. It's going to foul the engine. We'll put them here. And what else we got? I don't know what that is, but it looks cool. Cool. Uh, my rear gear. You see these rear gears here? They're well exposed. So we need to go back to base. We need to go to hull. We need to extend the hull. No, not the hull like that. I need the back part. So let's go rear strip. No. Lower height. No. No, 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 oh there we go, no I need the rear, oh that's better, I don't think I'm going to get rid of that, I need to get the running gear not exposed as much like that. I wonder if I can... No. Hmm. How do I get that over? Mm. Okay, well, we'll come back to that. Uh, mobility. Idle amount. Road wheel suspension. Return rollers. Return roll mount. Track segments. Yeah, I don't like those tracks. We're going to bring it to... Oh, yeah, that's, that's sexy. That's that's beautiful. I like that. Spare tracks, sure we'll have some spare tracks. There's spare track there. There's spare track there. Okay. Move the wheel under mobility. Mobiles. Oh, okay. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Beautiful, that's better. Now I just need to send the whole thing offset forward, so let's go tracks engine. We need to go base again, and we need to move the whole thing. That's a bit better. Mm. No. I'm somewhat happy with that. Is there a mirror button? I'm not sure, actually, if there is. Uh, okay, let's get some more fun stuff. The muscle brake, we've already done. Crew, stowages, utility, anti infantry. We've already got 50 cal on top of there. Um, let's go base. I am going to actually take the turret a little wider out here. Go forward offset. That's better. Okay. Livery. Here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's dress her up real nice. That's some wicked camo here. Snowy desert. Sick. Autumn. Honestly, I kind of like that look. It is available on Steam. Yes, it's on Steam. Engine exhaust ports. Okay, so we're going to go to mobility. Uh, engine. Exhaust. There we go. Put engine exhausts. One here. And one How do I rotate this? Whoops. Nope. Uh-oh. It's too late. I'm already driving it. We're testing it. I didn't mean to do that. But here we go. She's heavy, boys. She is heavy. 
Look at this, beautiful. Okay, we're not going to do that right now. We I, All I want to do is rotate the exhausts. Uh, how do I rotate? No. Uh, what's that do? I delete something. Helmet view, talk view, overlays. Hmm. Gotta make it symmetrical. I want to make it symmetrical, but I don't know how to rotate it. Anyway, uh, vents. Oh, it's a big vent on the back deck there. Yeah, she's. She probably needs more power, honestly. It's slow. It's the engine. Heavy. Severely underpowered. Slow. Underpowered. Medium. She's slow. Fenders. Fenders. Offset. It's pretty good. Width. A little bit more width. A little too wide. She's got way too much clearance on those tracks, too. Section length. Okay, fuel. Max capacity 800 liters. External fuel. And this transmission. Oh my god. You could change the transmission blueprints? Oh my god. That's intense. That is intense. Okay, that's that is absolutely insane. You need symmetry. Press X for symmetry mode. I did press X for symmetry mode. Press X for mirror tool. I did. It didn't do anything. Fenced. Oh my god. We can actually change all this stuff. That's crazy. We can actually go through all the power ratios of this thing. Holy crap. Okay, fair enough. Um, can't have dual guns. Crew, allocated space, efficiency. This is wicked. Internal space. So we have a lot of internal space. Back to mobility. No, so it's slow as hell, so I wanna get I wanna try and get some speed out of it. Um, engine. Basic. Severely underpowered, slow, underpowered, medium. Yeah, okay. Powertrain. Steer by very much train. Match allows turning place with disadvantages. Requires two transmissions. Tracks. Hmm. Oh, you can make them chonky. Wow, that's wicked. I want them pretty chunky. Potato tank. Hey, this isn't a potato tank. Come on, guys. Be nice to me, okay? Um, okay. Okay. Return rollers. Yeah, they want to be centralized, probably in the between diameter. I need little return rollers for this one. Spacing on the axle. Whoa. Whoa. See the fouling. See that? The fouling. Uh, height. That's not good design. That is not good design. We've got to change the suspension, I think, a little bit more. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh god. What have I done? What have I done now? She is low. Okay. Sprocket belt height. I don't know. Oh wheel sprocket height. Idler height. That's a horrible design. That's horrible. 
Looks like he did up making the Tam Tank. Pretty close. It's pretty close, I have to admit. Uh, i got to get my suspension up. It's way too low. Uh, let's go to base. Uh, hull. Height. Whoops. Now it looks like an M109. It's an handicapped N60. <laughs> Let's try it out. Here we go. It has like zero suspension. We gotta fix that. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I gotta fix that suspension. Why is it... No, I don't want that. Thanks for subscribing, Ned and Amni. I know it's under mobility, but why can't I get it higher? Sprocket mount. Idler sprocket tracks, engine, transmission, powertrain tracks. Idle wheel, idle mount, suspension. Huh. Gotta get you up high. Sprocket. Length. Oh, there we go. Suspension. There we go. That's better. I was wondering why I was doing that. Okay, we're good now. I think we can figure this out. So let's go. Return rollers are going to be the same height as the rest. That's the most effective there. Diameter is going to be bigger. Like so, we're going to space, spacing on axle, okay, we don't need to be that, there we go, that's about there, okay, this is a single question dev team build there, SPG, I'm going to come in later, that's so cool, I'm looking forward to it, okay, um, we are going to bring our sprocket wheels back, just a touch more, way too many wheels there though. We need to increase our sponsons back. Let's go uh, like so. And rear strip. Where is my? I think that comes under. I'm not sure. Okay, let's do this. Nice. It is extremely slow to turn that turret. <laughs> let's see how she handles. Oof. Oh god, I think I've got it stuck already. Come on. She doesn't go into reverse. I don't think I've actually given it a reverse gear. <laughs> Let's go to mobility. Transmission. Reverse gear is four. Oh my god. Eight. Four reverse gears. We don't need that many gears. Okay. Transmission. All right, she goes into reverse now. Look at this thing. Suspension looks pretty, pretty cool on that. Uh, that's fouling though. You see that? See, it's hitting the ro the uh, top rollers there. That's terrible. If you got rocks in there, it failed. And it's, let's see if she makes it up this hill. Some recon tank can't even move. Well, I guess I didn't really go down the recon route eventually. I just kind of just got excited. 
Oh, my engine's failed. I think I've broke my engine. A whole J to abandon. It's immobilized. <laughs> I've broke it already. Okay, let's see if we can make it up the hill. 50 ton recon tank. <laughs> She's hefty, boys. See if she makes it up any of these hills. Oh, she's going to come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, no. She's failing. She's failing. She's failing. She can't even make it up the hill. Okay, so I've mobilized it already. Okay, so let's... Uh, let's... Hmm. Hmm. Internal space, internal space. So we need to go to engine, and we need to go advanced, and we need to go. We got a sixteen-cylinder, five-liter. She idles eight hundred RPM. Okay. Just a little faster now. Not much, but she is. You can do it. See if we can make it up even the smallest. Oh yeah, like a glove. Fire that beautiful gun. <laughs> she, she's very slow. It was supposed to be a light tank. I know it was, but it's not anymore. Light compared to the mouse, yeah. I would say this would classify as a light tank. Okay, we're gonna go stupid now. We're gonna we're gonna save this one. Uh, can I save it? How do I save this? There we go. Save. Successfully saved the Mark II blueprints. Okay, so we're gonna start fresh. Um. All right, just new design. Okay, new design. We're gonna go stupid now. We're gonna go really stupid. We're gonna go like you want light tank. I'll give you a freaking light tank. I'm going to give you a light tank right now. Here we go. So we're going to go here. Go nice and tight. We're going to go length. <laughs> okay, let's get a turret. I don't know if we're even going to fit anything in it, honestly. Uh, that seems about right there. Now let's see if we can make it tight. Okay, so turret. We don't need you wide. We need you like this. Make you a long boy. Okay, where's my offset? Forward offset. I'm going to bring you right to the rear like that. Put the engine to the front. Okay. God, Tonk. We're going to make the length a little bit lower. There we go. Okay, so. Full slanty boy. Uh, rig lace <laughs> This is nuts. Firepower gonna be a tiny little gun. Uh, let's go to uh, gun mount first. Light man falls. I give you a tiny little thing. But I want the gun to be tiny. Length there. <laughs> give you that. I like that. I like the little hold, recessed hold gun there. Okay. Um, caliber is going to be tiny and that's why I want I think my gun man looks way too big let's 
probably the best we're going to get though. We're going to have to give it something a little different, I think. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, stub nose. It's going to roll over. <laughs> probably. Okay, let's go. Um, okay, it's a 30mm gun, so we're happy with that. Um, we need to get the base back again, and we need to. Okay, there we go. That's better. Little baby, little baby three wheeler. That sprocket's got to be smaller, though. They're way too big. Uh, mobility, powertrain, tracks, sprocket, belt, sprocket, height, height, diameter. You need to be tiny little sprockets. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Your height needs to come up. There we go. Idler, bring you about there. You also need to be smaller. There we go. And the road wheels are way too big. Bring you down. Maybe they'll have to be just a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. Will it have 16 horsepower? We'll see. We'll see what this thing can do. Oh, slanty boy for the win. Okay, um, let's go back to my base. Let's go to the turret. We're going to bring the height down. We're going to bring the... Should I side offset the turret? No. That's too much. That's good. Cheeks. A little bit wider. Height. No. Like that. Uh, I need to get the actual. There we go. That's what I was looking for. It's like a weasel. It is. It's a tiny little thing. Hey, bro, I got the game too. Made an improved mouse. It was 257 tons with a 183mm gun. It's about a meter long. That's wicked. Um, slanty boy at the back. Tiny little slanty boy. Uh, we need to bring the ring height down just a touch more. There we go. Preview the rotations. <laughs> we need to change that uh, that slant there. It's a little too slanty boy on the rear. There we go. So there's not enough room in the vehicle right now for what I'm wanting it to do. So we need to make it a little bit bigger. So let's go. Uh, hmm. Hull. Height a little bit more. No. Hmm. <laughs> it just turned back into what I had it before. Okay. Turn space used for the total space. Let's have a hole. Hmm. Let's go. <laughs> so I got to get it big. I got to get it wider. Okay. Let's get it width-wise. Offset a bit more. <laughs> oh. Hey, Nico. Uh, let's see if I can get, I gotta get a little bit more space, I've just got a little bit more room to make. Um, wonder if I just make it a little bit wider. There we go, we're in there. Okay, good. Now I gotta get this opened up a little bit more, so... Hmm, hole. 
Length. There. It's starting to turn in what it was before. Oh, goodness. We need to make it a tiny boy. <laughs> That's no depression. Uh, let's test drive this thing. Can't, no engine. Can't test drive it. Mobility. Engine. Basic. Heavy. Severely underpowered. Slow. Advanced. We're going to put... Eight sound displacement. There we go. Okay, I gotta put exhausts on it, that's why. I gotta put some stuff on it. Uh actually I wanna go back to my base and I wanna move the turret still offset to the back. Just like that. <laughs> And we're going to go to firepower. I'm going to make that gun longer. <laughs> it's not going to be able to hit anything. There we go. And go to base. I could literally spend like so much time on this. Front glacius. There's a lot of room doing that. Yikes. Stupid physics. Uh, you need drive support. Yeah, so let's go to crew. Nice colors. <laughs> Viewports. Drives viewport. Right here. Comes viewport. Right there. Commander's backup viewport there. And let's go to ability. Put exhaust on the back of it here. Like so. Oh yeah, here we go. That's what we're looking for. Those tracks are way too wide for a constant tank. We gotta make them smaller. No, she's not too bad. I mean, I wouldn't call it a classifier as a, as a reconnaissance vehicle. I bet this suspension's getting bashed out right now. Oh yeah, it is. Can it cross trenches? Ooh, <laughs> she's gonna get stuck. There's no way it's gonna make it up there. Slow rate of fire on it too. Okay, so we know that we need to get the tracks a lot thinner. Yeah, along with everything else. Thickness. It's light reconnaissance, we don't need. Wonder if I could actually make a CBRT out of this. Probably could. Uh, let's go road wheels. Diameter smaller still. Good. Okay. Uh, what else do I want to do? Tracks. Go back to tracks. Track width is there. Idler width needs to be reduced. Sprockets are good. Road wheels look good. Width. That should be better. Uh, return rollers are a little too big. A little bit of slack to get that bounce on there. Facing on the axle. It's bringing, bringing back memories, this guy. It's just bringing back real memories here. It's like actually being like a tank mechanic and playing with things like this is really fun. Uh, with spacing. <laughs> There looks good. Okay, let's go back to fire passing. Why they're it's really, really slow. You know, straight arm and piercing HE. Uh, total mass, elevation, depression. We can't go very far with the depression. 
Uh, caliber shell length. One meter. Should be small rounds. Damage reload time should be minimal. Up there. Barrel length is good. Start thickness. Whoop. Not look better. Okay. It has an exhaust. It has an exhaust. It's right there. Okay, here we go. The elevation, it hates the elevation. Look at that suspension though. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, he's smashing off the top rollers. Oh, I did not like that. Yeah, the suspension's not quite where I want it to be. It's a mess. It's a mess. I think she's stuck, fellas. Okay. Oh, why can't I see? What's going on? It's better. Um. Press Z. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Cool. Tank. Hey, I've just killed the centurion. Make it lighter. I'm gonna. I'm just playing. I'm just playing, boys. Can she cross? Come on! Oh, it does not like crossing trenches at all. Uh, okay, so we need to. Hmm. It's got mobility. Idle amount. General is. Rollers. Road wheels. Doesn't change the weight, which is interesting. Okay. Uh, transmission. Two gears. Got one gear. Six gears. I don't need that many. Engine. Okay, so I don't need a, t I need a ten cylinder, bigger displacement. Let's try that. It's faster now. Oh, I hit something it didn't like there. My engine was not impressed with whatever I just did there. Oh, I abandoned it. It's too late. I've broken it. I've broken it already. Okay. So we'll play with this uh, design another time. So let's save that as Mark Three. We're going to start a new design. This one, we're going to call it Chonky Boy. Chonky, Chonky Boy. So, base. Length. Width. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? Okay, well, we got to get the mobility changed a little bit here. So, let's go tracks. Track width. Chonker length Chonker tracks Chonker tracks <laughs> Okay Let's go uh, base turret <laughs> I 
I'm having too much fun with this. I'm having way too much fun with this. Um, give me a second here, guys. Okay. Let's try. Okay, let's, uh, hmm. this thing is beefy, I'm going to have a big old engine in it, let's go mobility, engine, it's going to be a 16 cylinder, 5 liter, uh, power, idle, fuel, Hmm, okay. Uh, sure. It's a six and a half ton engine. Tracks, powertrain. Let's go with tracks. We're going to go base. We're going to change the base up a little bit more. There. 89 tons. No way. Okay. <laughs> Firepower. Muzzle brakes. Gun sights. Gun mount. Heavy mounts. Sweet baby Jeebus. Okay, a gun. Nice thick boy here. Caliber. Oh, she's gonna be big. We need to give her a. We need to give her a hundred hundred and forty millimeter gun. <laughs> gun mount over needs to move over a little bit. There we go. Slope armor is best arm. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Okay, base. I want the hull. <laughs> so he's 113 tons. Uh, mobility tracks. I'm gonna bring the width down. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh, crew. Drivers. Drivers. Periscope is gonna be in the front here. <laughs> Gunners is gonna be here. Ability engine exhaust stack here exhaust stack here <laughs> oh, fuel it's probably gonna need an extra twenty fuel tanks on the back so I'll just give it some extras. Getting any bigger. Can't get a bigger engine than that. Okay, driver's port. Crew. Driver's port. Yeah. 
she ain't going anywhere. She ain't going anywhere. I gotta get her off the. I gotta get a, get a high insert. What does it say? Okay, uh, so we gotta go to mobility. Uh, tracks, suspension. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Insufficient force to aim the can, add bigger motor, or move the can's entire center of mass. Okay, she's she is trying to move. Wow, it's moving. It actually moves. Look at this thing. <laughs> Whoa, Okay, yeah, the 140 does look pretty cool. This thing's moosive. It's quite the reloading. This one will clear the trench, no problem. <laughs> I wonder if I can run over in trees. Let's see if it gets on the road, how fast it can go. Yeah, the gun can't elevate or traverse, I don't think. It's too heavy. Okay, let's take her on the road. Okay, here we go. Look at the amount of fuel I'm using. Look at the amount of fuel I'm using on the top left. Okay, so we're at 18 kilometers an hour. She's peaking, I think, at 19 k's an hour. Still faster than World War II tank. Look at that, she's actually moving. <laughs> it's E100 special sibling. Okay, let's let's.
Okay, cheeks can be a little bit. There we go. Mantles. I'm gonna go for this guy. Cannon's gonna be uh, 87 millimeter. Long barrel thickness. Thickness. That's a beefy boy. Let's go for place gun of sight. Like so. Japanese doctor, no armor, that's right. Oh, yeah. Armor. Beautiful. Hull oh, armor. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Weighs 47 tons so far. Cool. Mobility. Engine. Heavy, slow, unpowered, severely unpowered, heavy, advanced. Liter V8. I'm happy with that. Fenders, fuel, mission. Okay. Crew, man's follower. Okay, let's go back to mobility. Let's go to engine. Let's go to exhaust. And I think we just need a driver's port. We're good. It's got to be under 40 tons for this mission. And we're at 47 tons. Damn it. Okay, uh, let's go to base. Let's go to length. <laughs> there we go. She's ready to go, boys and girls. God. Where is it? I can't get my gun up. Ah, there's more of them. This gun's so big I can't traverse it. Oh no, drive Matt! Get that gun round, Matt. Get that gun round. Just trying to get behind me. You can't mess with Chunky Boy. 
Oof. Let's try again. I'm gonna die, but that's okay. We get some speed up. Is that a French? It is. I think it's a French RB. Oof. One down. You can't touch me. There's another one down. I'm gonna get you! Same down too. Oof! Right through the side. <laughs> this game is so cool. Unfortunately, guys, and um, that is it for me for today, though. I have other things I do need to do, so uh, I do appreciate you stopping by on today's video. Uh, if you enjoyed the stream, please feel free to check out uh, further streams in the future, and that's, uh, that's gonna be it. Have a wonderful day. Take care, guys. Bye bye.